Hey guys, it's Adam here, and today I'll be showing you how to build your very own dolly. Let's get started. For this project, you will need two seven feet PVC pipes, four one feet PVC pipes, three two feet PVC pipes, four PVC right angle elbows, and two PVC tees. Now all of these PVCs I'm mentioning are one inch diameter. Now you're also gonna need eight two inch bolts, eight one fourth washers, eight one fourth nuts, and eight wheels. Now these can be wheels from skateboards, from rollerblades. It doesn't really matter as long as they have a bearing so that the wheel spins nice and smooth. You're also gonna need a drill and a wrench. Let's start by making the track of the dolly. So first you're gonna lay out your two seven feet PVC pipes followed by your two two feet PVC pipes and you're gonna make a rectangle out of them. From this, you're gonna take your right angle elbows and you're gonna attach them at the corner so that they make a rectangle. Make sure that everything is nice and snug and even. And that should be it. There is your finished track. Next, let's start making the actual dolly. Take your drill and drill some holes into the one feet PVC pipes. Make sure that the wheels are able to sit flush with the pipes. Wow, you just ruined my shot. I see you. Afterwards, you're gonna take the two inch bolt, you're gonna slide it through the wheel, and then you're gonna slide it through the PVC pipe hole that you just made. You're gonna attach a nut and then a bolt. And make sure you screw it down nice and tight, but make sure that the wheel can still spin afterwards. You're gonna repeat this for all of the wheels that you have, and eventually you end up with the dolly system. You're gonna take your tees and you're gonna attach each one foot PVC pipe into the tee, and you're gonna have that extra two feet in the middle so that you form the dolly. Now you're gonna place the dolly onto the track. And after that, you're gonna put the tripod onto the track and everything should be running smoothly. Make any minor adjustments by turning the wheels, loosening the nuts and bolts. And for this, I suggest actually putting a bag on the tripod if you have a tripod that has this hook because this adds extra weight and stability so that the tripod won't actually fall off as easily. Next, you're gonna attach your camera and let's see how things turn out. So these are some test shots that I got with the dolly system and I have to say I'm pretty impressed for something that cost me under 50 bucks. So that is my dolly that I've made for under 50 bucks. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY and if you have any questions, shoot them my way. Other than that, have a nice day.